Introducing into your red corner from the Predators Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Tommy Barrington. And here's a blue, and his opponent in the blue corner from the Minotaur Gym. Please make some noise for Chris Pearson. Hand you over to your fighters and referee. Just about to get underway this super lightweight C class bout. Much of my weight actually, 63 kilograms. And we have over there representing the Minotaur gym in the blue corner, Chris Pearson, 27 years old. Also trying to sit on Penong in Thailand quite a bit, so. We'll see some good skills from young Chris. He's a local lad to me over there in Chinkford. Over here in the red corner, fighting out the Predators gym, you've got Tom Berrington, 28 years old. He's had six or seven fights, about the same as Chris. So well matched again. And he's from Bedford. You are watching Smash Muay Thai 4. And we are about to get underway with the action. I'm in the commentary box with Nick Wilson. And we are about to see some C-class Muay Thai action. Really excited to see uh, Chris Pearson. This is one of the matchups I've been uh, looking forward to, maybe more than any of the others, just because uh, I know what a, st a Thai stylist Chris is. Yes, I think he's had a lot of time in the Sits on Penong gym, which is a very like, school, one. school Thai gym over there in Bangkok. Wee. Start big, fast. yeah, big body kick. I watched Chris's last fight. I was in the commentary box for that as well. He, he got a very bad decision against him, actually, Nick. He, uh, he did win the fight in my, on my card, but he, uh, he does kick low often, so it's nice to see him come straight into the body there. And those knees are absolutely spiking into the body of Tom Berrington. Almost sparring knees from Tom as he brings in the hip there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wee. Yeah. It, don't go in the clinch of a guy who's lived in Bangkok for a while, Nick. That's no, yeah, I think that's the, the answer there. <laughs> well, he's doing very well in there, Tom Berenan. He's, uh, he's got the inside and got his head around his neck. Chris needs to move that left arm. and uh, That's right, that's what he needs to do, and turn off the ropes. Just... Clinching this early in a fight is really going to drag that energy out of these two boys. Yeah. Yeah, they're scoring knees from Tom. I'd like to him spike his knees in there, Mark. And Tom walking straight on. I think he's confident with the clinch now, Nick, on the boy from Bangkok. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Chris is a good clinch. I'm surprised he's not... Uh... Like you say, Danny, he saps a lot of energy. Oh, take down there from Chris. Yeah, I, mean, I think he wants to get out of trouble on the inside yeah. there, you know, but it was... a. Uh... Good take down, pulled the hat, pulled the leg. Not a lot between these two guys. Uh, yeah, if you just watch the replays, just spent the whole round in the clinch, really. Oh, for me, a lazy fight like me, that's the last place <laughs> I want to be. I'm going to be saving that stuff for the end. Yeah. Chris looks like he's struggling now. I mean, 
much an experience he'd have uh, being at Sitsop and Long. With the amount of time they spend in it, it would be great. Well, he started out well with some good knees that, that were scoring and really... Uh... Just couldn't get the inside, Chris. Yeah. He, he yeah. needed to move that hand off his head. The uh, Tom Berrington, very wily, taking the inside. Which is ten seconds. The clinch, just getting hold of his head. See if Chris opts to stay out of the clinch now. Yep, yeah, this bout C-class rules, of course, so... No knees to the head or no elbows two. permitted. Oh, lovely little move. Yeah, nice hands, Snapped nice body kick to Chris. his left. Good head oh, kick. Oh, that is the word. money shot right there. Right hook, left kick. This fight, I think, is over. Yeah, he's not there. He no. needs to call this fight. The referee should Hello, not Nathan let him fight on. taking a very close look. This fight's over. Definitely. Yeah, I don't know why he took so long to wave it off. No, I should, I'd like to have seen him call that off yeah. instantly. What about for Chris Pearson? Knows his beaming smiles on again. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Pearson has hit that left head kick from nowhere. Because, of course, he's out of a southpaw stance, so yeah. the other lad might not have really been expecting oh, it so much. It's the Yodson class shot, isn't it? Can we just have a look at the replay if we can? The way he stepped out, first of all, surprised him with a punch. Yeah. First knockout of the evening we've seen here. Ooh, yeah, lovely kick. Didn't show it, just let it come in and round the top. Very, very fluid Hands kick. were low, yeah. just looking after himself in there. Young Tom Berenton, we've just got the medics in there to check for his safety. I'm sure he'll be fine. Very explosive first round. So we've had a little bit of everything already, Nick. We, <laughs> yeah. We're not even a third way through the fight well, card tonight here <laughs> yeah, at yeah. Smash Muay Thai 4. Yeah. We've, we've seen the kids fighting like they've been in the ring for 800 years. We've seen the. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen. We have, we have seen it all. We've seen fantastic. Give him a round of applause, first please, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Fight for yeah. two big guys hitting each other. With very, some very composed. Speed. Yep. yep. And now we've seen a first round knockout. Second round knocked out. Not, it Second, felt like the first yeah. round, didn't it? Because yeah, yeah, they spent right, half yeah, the first yeah, round in the clinch. Win. That's right. My apologies. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, your winner second round, yeah, by CKO 16 seconds in round two from the blue corner of Minus All Gym, Chris Pearson. Well, I was eating chicken with him also in uh, round of applause Nando's for Tommy only a couple Berenson. of hours ago, Nick. And, uh, oh, the true warriors. I think he'd have taken that before the fight, don't you? Absolutely. We see what that confidence, you know, a knockout can do wonders for a fighter's confidence. Oh, but he cannot wait already to get in there again. Yeah.